Welcome back, Kumos, to another Elite World. You're here with Kuma. As you could probably tell from the title, there is about a 90% chance that this video will be flagged by YouTube. Yeah, so if it was delayed, that's why. Let's get started. Now, little Nubito, watch closely. Right. I've noticed that the infidel leader relates differently to his team than I do. My way is not so homo, but perhaps it changes in order. Lately, I've been trying to do whatever I can to get rid of this noob title. I even started RTFMing. So the bomb's counting down now? See. Si. Okay, let's see. I put this wire here and this wire, wait, this is a fake bomb, right? Do I appear loco? Of course it is fake. Why would you have a real one? <laughs> hey bro, how's it going? Uh, dude, hold on. Let me get my kit. Dude, this is gonna sound kind of crazy. Bear with me for a second. I think player's trying to kill me. No, I'm dead serious, bro. I think he's trying to kill me. Dude, bro, do you know why Westheimer wants me to defuse this fake bomb? Uh-oh, was that supposed to happen? Man, it's my fault, isn't it? Yes. This, I blame on you. This means we're still friends right now, right? Okay? Best friends? Okay. See ya. Call you later. Westheimer was not happy about that bomb going off. He fucking flew off the handle, brah. It's just not safe, you know? Someone could get hurt. So, naturally, something had to hit the fan. Oh man, Westheimer is T.O'd. I don't think I've ever seen him this angry. Maybe if you terrorists wouldn't keep your bombs lying around. Hold on there, Bo. I got just as much a ride to blow shit up as the next feller. Cortez! Cortez! What the heck is his problem? Ever since Cortez and I became best friends, I figured that I should develop a super secret way to communicate with him. Since he's blind and has a superhero hearing, I'll just talk to him loud enough so only he can hear. If you can hear me, and I know you can, buddy, kick his ass. Also, your sunglasses make you look awesome. Does he have some kind of learning disability? I wonder what they're talking about. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that- Yes, you are. When you talk that way, it makes me feel like I'm less of a- Look, you just stop bringing bombs in the house, okay? You can't tell Cortez what to do. Only Cortez can tell Cortez what to do. Listen, Helen Keller, I know it's a different world now that you've got a handicap. It's hard to cope, I'm sure. But if you hurt one of my boys, it won't be just your eyes that are broken. No, you listen. If push comes to shove, I'm going to- <laughs> Cortez? Cortez, you're a catastrophe. I thought they heard. Wait, come back here. I'm not finished with you. Where did you go? Aha! Uh -oh. Something tells me that Cortez isn't going to take this kind of insult lightly. I'm going to keep my eye on him. So we busted it in the dean's office, right? Popped open the Cuervo. The bitches were coming over. Uh, what? Dude, Cortez? No way, man. He's irrelevant. Worthless. I'm not even worried about that f He's shittier than my fantasy team, brah. So this is my super secret plan, yes? The plan to destroy the counter-terrorists. Okay, you're blind and you want us to give you our explodey things. More or less. Who died and made you leader anyway? Como? You always come here making your demands, throwing your weight around like you're some kind of hot shot? What if I wanted to be the leader? You? Yeah, right. Color me out of style. What is wrong with me being the leader? I've got experience, I've got the know-how, and I do believe that I have the charismania. First of all, it's charisma. Second, how long have your cousins been marrying each other? Six, seven generations? Hold on now, Mary Louise and Uncle Bo was second cousins. That's legal in seven of the contiguous United States. Are you going to give me your bombs? Or do I have to take them from you? Threats will do you no good, Rico Suave. 
My bomb is hidden in a very secure place. You don't mean... Pardon? You're... Oh god, you're serious. Um, I don't know how you did things in the Ocho Muertos, but here in real people land, no one does that. Oh, bueno, bueno. Because I thought you had put it. Why would you think that? Now hold the phone here. We're talking about his ass, right? Yes. yes. I just wanted to clarify, you two are having your own damn conversation over there, and I'm just a little behind is all. Yes, Ellis. Cortez thinks I put the bomb in my badunkadunk. And we're all in agreement that that's a stupid fucking idea, right? Yes, Ellis. All right, then. I'm going to run to the little boy's room and pull the bomb out of my a I mean, I'm going to poop. <laughs> my help? Yes, little Nibito. I have just one bomb since those other imbeciles wouldn't give me theirs. And we are going to plant it. Oh, cool. Where? Somewhere that will really hurt them. Somewhere that will make them weep. Somewhere that they will remember when they see their grandchildren's tears. Wow, that's awesome. So where's that? I have no idea. Hmm. Where would we normally plant a bomb? In the bomb site, por supuesto. Are there any bomb sites on this map? <sighs> Little Nubito, you have much to learn. Well, if there are no bomb sites in this house, let's put it somewhere different. Wait, you want us to put the bomb somewhere other than the bomb site? Yeah, pretty much. You are a genius. That's what my mom always tells me. So then I say to the guy, listen, you, we're dying over here fighting these werebats, and you're not giving us our buffs. How are we supposed to do that? You really need to get a life. You should come out drinking with us on Thursday, brah. Have you guys seen Cortez anywhere? Yeah, dude. Blind guy. Can't see shit. Always wears Folkley's. He lives here. Oh, damn it, they buy shooting glasses. I don't know, guys. I haven't seen him since our argument. I have a feeling he may be up to something. Good God, that came from upstairs. OMG, my computer. No, no, OMG, my hard drive. Dude, Leroy, you might want to stay out of here, man. It's ugly. Oh, God. It's all gone. It's all gone. Dude, that's just being spirited. Who would do this? Cortez! Dude, Leroy flew off the f***ing handle, brah. About his computer, that is. Not about the bitches that were there the other night. Kept him up till like four in the morning. But he's probably playing his fucking nerdy ass video games anyways. Why don't you hang out with us, Leroy? I'm gonna go level 58 on your ass. Not so fast. Wow. That was so cool. I'm glad you're my best friend. You can't hit me. You're blind. I don't have to see to hit you at this range. Leroy, get away from him. He may be blind, but he's still dangerous and bad shit loco. Yes, I am feeling a little loco. Cortez, what you did was low. We're gonna settle this right here, right now. You can try. My guest, yes. I do I request do. that you all move towards the basement. I have an important announcement. My guest. Dude, guys, we should get the f out of here. Towards the basement. This isn't over. Terrorists and counter terrorists, get ready. I think the time is right for your first challenge. We're going to DE Dust 2. Ooh. I love DE Dust 2. Bloody double doors. Oh, these episodes are just so fun. Oh, it's been so long. So it's awesome. Oh, oh my god, that load. I haven't seen that for years, mostly because Source sucks and last time I played it was like... at uni. Oh god, I remember the last time I played it! I had a chick in the room! Fuck, I'm Leroy and a half! I'm Leroy and a half! So bad! <laughs> Such a bad, bad Kuma. But no, seriously, it, it, is, it is kind of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed binging this a little bit. Next one is going to be the D Dust 2 episode, which is always fun. But I am going to be on the gaming channel live streaming on the weekend. So I hope you join me. Link is in the description below. And I'm also going to hang out in the Discord. The link is also in the description below. That's where I always hang out. And there's like over 100 active people at any given time now, which is pretty cool. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Till next time, Ninja Kuma out. Bye. Good. You have a hidden talent you don't know about, like Paris Hilton being an actress. Wait, kid, you dropped your microphone. Wait, kid, you dropped your microphone.
You want to be an Air Force Ranger. You want to live a life of danger. You don't want to get raped by strangers. <laughs> Think of a big 